Hello friends, welcome back to csat.net online training video series. Today we are going to discuss multiple inheritance real-time example using csat programming language. Please watch our previous video if you have not watched yet because in our previous video we have discussed what is multiple inheritance, how to implement multiple inheritance, how multiple inheritance is not possible with classes and how it is possible with the interfaces and why we are not getting the ambiguity error with the interfaces and why we are getting the ambiguity error with classes and what exactly the ambiguity error. All these things we have discussed in our previous video. Today, I'm going to show you how to use multiple inheritance in your real-time application development. See, if you, are, uh, if you are attending any interviews, then the interviewer also uh, ask this question to you, what is the use of multiple inheritance in your uh, real-time application? Or he might be asked you where you have used multiple inheritance in your project if you are an experienced developer, right? So before understanding the use of a multiple inheritance with one real-time application, let us first understand the concept called multiple inheritance. Once uh, we understand the concept multiple inheritance, then we will understand how to use multiple inheritance in real-time application. What is multiple inheritance? When a class is derived from more than one base class, then such type of inheritance is called multiple inheritance. You can see class C. Class C is derived from class A as well as class C is also derived from class B. And when a class is derived from more than one base classes or you can see more than one parent classes, then such type of inheritance is called multiple inheritance, right? As you can see in this case, class C is inheriting from class A as well as class B. And as this class C having more than one parent classes, so we can say this is multiple inheritance. But the important point is that this concept, right, multiple inheritance with classes is not supported in C sharp because of the ambiguity problem. What is the ambiguity problem? Now see, in this case, it is a class. Class means it provides the member to the derived classes or to the child classes for consumption. Right. For example, if you want, uh, for example, if you have defined one method test inside class A, and if you define the same test method with the same name and signature in class B, then this test method is also derived uh, available in class C as well as this test method is also available in class C. That means two uh, text method with the same name and same signature is available inside class C. Now, if you create an instance of a class C and when you invoke the text method, then the compiler will get confused. Which version of the text method I need to execute? whether I need to execute the text method which is defined inside class A or I need to execute the text method which is defined inside class B, the compiler have no idea because, because there is ambiguity. There is two method with the same name and same signature available inside this, right? So this is the reason why this concept that is multiple inheritance with classes is not supported in C sharp, right? But in real time, we need to implement the above functionality. And this is possible in C sharp with the interface. Even multiple inheritance is not supported through classes, but it is still supported through interfaces in C sharp. A class can have one and only one immediate parent class, whereas the same class can have n number of interfaces as its parents. That is, multiple inheritance is supported through interfaces in C sharp. You can see this image. So this is your child class. This child class having only one immediate parent class, but this child class at the same time can have a number of interfaces. That is one class inheriting from a single base class and the same class can inheriting from multiple parent interfaces. And this is nothing but the concept of multiple inheritance. And this is possible in C sharp only because of this concept called interfaces and what is all this interfaces concept we have already discussed in our previous video right so please watch that video so that you will get more and better clarity right so today what i am going to show you i will show you one real time example where you need to go for multiple inheritance right but before understanding that real time example using multiple inheritance so i have divided this example into two sections so first, I will show you the example without using multiple inheritance, and then I will show you the problem. I'm not using multiple inheritance, so this is the problem I'm getting. Then I will show you the same example using multiple inheritance, and I will show you how we can overcome the problem 
if we are not using multiple inheritance. So what we are going to do? We are going to develop an application to implement the printer services. Right. So as part of the printer service, we are going to provide the following four functionalities. So we can print text, scan, and print duplex. These are, these are the four functionality that we want to provide to printer services. So if these are the four services that we want to provide, and then we need to create a two different types of a printer, right? SP laser printer and a liquid inkjet printer. So if these are the four services that we want to provide, then you might be tempted to create one interface, right? With these four services, yes or no, yes. So let's do this thing step by step, right? So what I'm so far, what I have done is I have created one console application with the name printer service, right? To this console application, to this console application, let us add one interface, right? So add new item, then select the interface, provide the name as a print i printer task.cs as per industry standard. We need to provide your name with the word i so that uh, by looking at the name itself, we can say it is an interface, right? So once we provide the name, then we need to define the core functionality. That means we need to define the method. So in this case, we are writing void print, word scan, word touch, and word print, right? So internally, this is going to be public abstract method only. So it is going to be public abstract void print public abstract void scan method, public abstract void patch, and public abstract void print duplex. So the point that you need to remember is by default interface number are going to be abstract only, right? Public and abstract only. So this is the method we have defined, right? Now, now what is our business requirement, right? So the business requirement is now, if any now if any class want the printer services, then that class needs to implement this printer task interface and needs to provide implementation to these four methods. That is what uh, we can do right now, right? So we have two printers. One is HP laser gen printer and one other is liquid ink gen printer. Who wants the printer services? But the requirement is that the HP laser printer want all the four services. He wants print, scan, fax, and print duplex which is provided by the iPrinter tax interface, right? While the other printer, that is liquid engine printer, he doesn't want all the services. He uh, he is only interested in print and scan, and he doesn't interested in fax and a print duplex. As we have declared all the four services within this iPrinter tax interface, then it is now mandatory for the liquid engine printer to provide implementation not only for these two interface method which he required, but also he needs to provide implementation to these two methods, right, which he is not actually interested, but he needs to provide implementation. Why? This is the rule. What is the rule? Any method you declared inside the interface that needs to be implemented by the child class without fail. Without fail means it is mandatory. Okay, let us implement this. So let's create a class called SP laser gen printer. Right, so I'm doing, I'm adding one class, add new item. I'm selecting the class. I'm providing the name as SP laser printer printer dot CS, right? So I'm clicking on the add button. So the class file dot CS, SP laser gen printer dot CS class file added. Then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add this code, right? So this is nothing but I'm implementing the interface right so i'm implementing the interface and i'm providing the four methods so what exactly these four methods are doing they are just taking the string content and just printing that this is a simple implementation right so this is the print method scan method fax method and the print duplex method as this sp laser gen printer want all the four services he is providing implementation to all the method and this is our interface right that is absolutely fine now, now, now let's create another class called the liquid inkjet printer and uh, implement that class from the iPrinter task interface. So what I'm trying to do, I'm just creating one class file with the name this one and clicking on the add button. So once I click on the add button, then I'm copying this code, right? So I'm copy pasting this code. So you can observe here, right? So you can observe here what I'm doing. 
I'm again I'm inheriting this class from the IPM data. As I'm inheriting from this class, I need to provide implementation to this method. That is fine. I'm in providing implement, but I'm not interested to these two methods. Even I'm not interested to this method. If I commented this, then I'll get error. Why? Because it is the rule. All the interface member needs to be implemented under the child class. So as it is a rule, so what I can do is normally we can implement the interface method. And in this case, you can see this method is implemented in this way through a new not implemented exception. Not implemented exception. This is what you can see here, right? So these two methods, even not required, right? They are also implemented, right? And without implementation, we cannot uh, inherit our class from this interface. This is the rule, right? This is the rule, right? Then what is the program? The FF class required only two printer surface, but here we are also providing implementation to all the four interface methods. This is the problem. We should not provide implementation to the methods which we are not interested. So in this case, if you look at this class, we are not interested with these two methods. And why I'm going to provide implementation if it is not required for me? Because the way we design our application, it is now becomes mandatory. Why? Because we have put all this interface method inside this uh, interface. Now all the method, all the services we are putting inside this interface. As we are putting everything in a single interface, now it becomes all the child classes to provide implementation to all the methods that you have declared inside the interface. This is the problem. How we can resolve this problem? Right? How we can resolve this problem means we need to split the big one interface with the many small interfaces, right? So what we need to do, instead of creating a big interface, right? So you can see in this case, what I'm trying to do, I'm just splitting this interface into three small, small interface. I print a task, I fax service, I print duplex taxes, right? So in this case, right? If, if, if someone interested only for print and scan service, then he need to implement this interface. If someone interested for all the printer services, then that class needs to implement all these three interfaces. Then who is interested for all the services? SP Laser Gen Printer. Let SP Laser Gen Printer to inherit from all the interface. This is interface one, right? And this is your interface two. And this is your interface three. Now you can see this interface inherit from all the interfaces and providing implementation to all the interface method. This is nothing but your multiple inheritance. As your class is inheriting from more than one interfaces and providing implementation to all the interface methods, this is nothing but your multiple inheritance. And this is one of the real time use case of multiple inheritance. Now, now come to the liquid engine printer. In liquid engine printer, now we are not interested with these two methods. Just remove it, we will not get any error because now our inter, now our printer only inheriting from iPrinter task interface, right? And if you go to the iPrinter task interface, it is having only two abstract method, print and scan. That is what we are interested in only now. So we are printing this method, print and a scan. So this is how you can implement multiple inheritance in your application, right? Now, now let us try to run. Uh, now let us try to execute this program. Okay. Now, now let us see how to use these printer classes in our main method, right? So what we can do is we can create uh, an instance of. Uh, uh, we can create instance of the respective printer classes, right? So I'm creating instance of SP, ledger chain printer, and you can see I can invoke all the four methods, scan, print, fax, and a print duplex. Now, now if I'm, uh, now I'm creating, again, I'm creating liquid engine printer instance. You can see I'm creating the instance, and here I can only invoke the print and the scan, uh, scan and a print method. I cannot uh, print, uh, I cannot invoke the other two method has and print duplex. If you try, you will get some kind of error because this two functionality is not available in, in this printer, but all the four functionality available inside this printer. So this printer implement all the interface, so all the functionality are available. But this class implements only this print, I printer text. So only these two functionality are 
I will also, you can all call this uh, two methods, right? So now, if you run the application, then you will get the output as per your uh, expected. So you, we will get the expected output. Let's run the application and see the output. Yes, you can see scan service, print, uh, scan service, print service, fax service, print flex service by SP laser agent and scan and print service by liquid agent printer. So by using multiple inheritance concept only, we can achieve this concept. If multiple inheritance is not there, if your class is only inherited from a single interface, then it is not possible. It is not possible means here we need to provide implementation to all the interface method, right? That's it for today. Thank you for watching this video. In case you need the text version of this video, the link for the same is provided in the video description section.